From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. More of the same across the area through the weekend. I know I sound like a broken record. It will be dry this morning, but there are rain chances later in the day. Greg D will have your forecast coming up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines on a Friday. This morning, we're working to get an update on the 16-year-old girl who was stabbed at a Pinellas County school bus stop. She went to the hospital and at last check, she was stable. St. Pete police say the victim was involved in an ongoing argument with a 15-year-old. They started fighting at the bus stop and the 15-year-old pulled a knife. Police say she stabbed the other girl. The alleged attacker now facing three felony charges. Well, better care is now available for local kids with conditions like cancer and heart disease. Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in St. Pete opened its new research and education building. The 230,000 square foot facility will focus on improving clinical trials for experimental drugs. It also has rooms where doctors can train parents of kids with diseases. People wanting to visit the beach this weekend could find the water is not safe. Officials issued a no swim advisory for long boat Key Beach after finding high levels of bacteria in the water. Now note this is a different bacteria than the one causing red tide. The beach is going to stay open, but officials say you just should not get in the water. You might see a lot of people dressed up in superhero costumes in downtown Tampa this weekend because MegaCon Tampa Bay opens this afternoon. Celebrity signing autographs for fans include Jeffrey Dean Morgan from The Walking Dead, Michael Dorn, Corbin Burnson, and Marina Sirtis from Star Trek, and the Weasley Twins from Harry Potter. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. Know some of those names. Hello, everybody. As we start off this Friday morning, uh, mainly dry out there. Rain has uh, uh, come to an end from yesterday's showers and storms, but those will return this afternoon. Now, you think we're okay through the first half of the day? It's later on after lunchtime, mid afternoon, that we've got the best shot of seeing some heavy downpours and a lot of lightning and thunder. Back in the low to mid 90s before those storms arrive, I've got your weekend forecast posted right now on the weather page at abcactionnews.com. James. All right, good deal, Greg. You can get all of your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device, and don't forget, to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great weekend. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.